her fiance, she's not married yet, that she is pregnant and it's not his. Okay? So you know what's going to happen to her? Joseph is going to, he has the potential to completely abandon her, leave her alone. Her family is probably going to abandon her because she shames not only herself, but the rest of the family. And she's going to be homeless and pregnant. And yet, our patron saint, when the Gabriel, angel Gabriel tells her in the beginning of Luke, she's like, yeah, your servant is willing. At first, she's a little concerned, but somehow this woman, this girl has the courage and the faith to say, I'm ready to go. So there's four things I want us to remember about, about what Mary's going to teach us today. How, Mary is able to choose joy because she has incredible, incredible obedience, humility, and her Three big skill sets that we want here at St. Mary's are real hot. Her awareness of scripture is big. Her awareness of her prayer life is big. And her worship life is big. How does Mary respond in the face of chaos? She goes to her cousin and she says, cousin, come here. <laughs> she, did she say, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. I haven't told my fiance, he's gonna leave me, I'm gonna be alone, I'm gonna have to call a healthy start, they're gonna have to take care of me, I'll probably be a family promise. Did she say that? Probably. No, but she, <laughs> whoa, okay. <laughs> well, what the Bible tells us, <laughs> maybe underneath, but what made it to the book was that she turns to Holy Scripture and she repeats a hymn that Hannah said from 1 Samuel. And she, she says this glorious, glorious hymn you just heard. And all it does is it confirms and affirms that God loves her. God takes care of the lowly. God has blessed her, a lowly servant. She knows it by heart. Mary can't read. She's a 14-year-old girl in Palestine. She's not educated, but she's heard it. Thank you so much, Barbara. She's heard it, and she's memorized it. Reverend Patsy wants you to memorize Scripture as, as, as people of spiritual formation. Do, you, do anyone have a verse that they hold on to, that they repeat. When, when, when times get a little rough, I, I see some hands going, you guys are so Episcopalian. You're like, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, good. You rinse and repeat the scripture. It's the word of God. This ain't a fun little book just about prophets saying these are good things to do. No, this is the living word. It rescues you. It saves you. It feeds you. So Mary has scripture memorized. She worships God. She worships boldly, just like Hannah. The words that she's saying. She's like, Elizabeth, my soul rejoices. She turns to joy. And then finally, she's got a deep prayer life. Those in the Bible that the angels speak to are ones who are deep in prayer. And when we don't take time to just be quiet and listen to God, you ain't going to hear what he's saying. You might have a nice prayer life, but if you're talking the whole time, you can't hear God. When we see Mary in Luke 1, She's not chatting, chatting, chatting. She's just sitting there, and God, the angel, comes to her. So what's your prayer life like? Do you talk the whole time? Or do you say, okay, I've said my word, God. Now I'm going to be quiet. And speak to me, for your servant is, is listening. Mary embodied all three of those. Her worship life, her prayer life, and her scripture life. And she was obedient enough to say, yes, God. Because of that, she had the courage... To choose joy because she could have she could have chosen chaos she was designed for joy oh tell me more and that is our fall theme that is our fall motto designed for joy because in all reality our soul was knitted and created to magnify the lord just like mary's was so deep down out of all take out all the chaos and all the stress and all, all of the media of what today sa says, we were designed for joy. Hmm. So, okay. we're going to choose joy. Okay. So how, what, what, do we have any tools that could help us with that over the next three months? So we do. We have backpack tags, first of all, thank you. And so did you bring your backpacks today? Yes. Okay. So everybody's going to get a backpack tag. And on the back, do you see the big smiley face? Yeah. And on the back of it is a scripture that we can 
Memorize. So it's Philippians 4 8. So we're going to be talking about the 4 8 principle in our sermons. If you want to do it in your life groups, Bible studies, we're going to be talking about how we can choose joy because it doesn't always come naturally. It Does doesn't. it? No. So our natural response, and your therapist would tell you, at least my therapist would tell me, I don't know if you have one, but I have a great one if you want one, um, that the, our brains will naturally always choose chaos. It's just easier. Got to survive, got to survive, got to survive. But you're not being attacked by a lion anymore. We don't live in caves. So usually choosing anxiety is not the best way to go. So it's your choice as a child of God to choose faith and to choose joy. It's a choice you have to make. And joy is not happiness, y'all. Happiness comes and goes. I'm happy when the Browns win. I'm devastated when they lose. So I'm devastated all the time. That just comes and goes. That's, that's an emotion. Joy is being grounded and rooted in the faith and love of Jesus Christ, what he did for you, and he died for your sins. So therefore, no matter, come what may, I'm good because I'm loved by God. That is joy. So can I make a confession? Oh, You're a priest. Oh, oh, oh. these can are I good. Make, can these, I make a confession? Yeah, 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 your servant is waiting. So the other day, it was Thursday. I came into the office irritable. Yeah. But you're was, naturally joyful. Well, no, I have to work at it. Really? Yeah. I come on. These people are all thinking like, come on, I mean, Reverend Patsy, you're just joy when you walk out, when you get out of bed. Well, I had a lot of practice in practicing joy in Madagascar because it was difficult. So, but anyway, it's difficult here too. So on Thursday morning, I went to the, to get my blood test. And um, so they need to take blood. And so six minutes. Okay. You know, I got in there at eight o'clock, six minutes. Okay. Well, it was like quarter of 10, 9.30, and I was still there. Now, they were very kind. They kept telling me to wait. It's only going to be 10 more minutes, and then another 10 minutes. and then. So I came into the office irritable, and I brought in that irritability, okay. and people knew it. And so, Brandon, where's Brandon? Cross the street. Cross the street. Oh, no. Maybe he's back. Okay. So Brandon's like, what's up? And I said, I'm irritable. And, um, and he let me be irritable for a few, min uh, a few seconds, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, so, I guess that since you're irritable, you would like me to come over and, and lay a hand on you and pray. And I said, yes, that's exactly what I need. How'd it go? Good. He had a very powerful prayer. It was beautiful. So sometimes we need the prayers of one another. Yeah. And we need to turn the, the, the me into we. So do you see this? What does this say? We. We, we are. are blessed. Here, hold it right there. So it won't be hold it for you and then Tom can come in tight. Uh -huh. like He's so much taller. So what, if you turned it upside down, Father Christian, what would happen? Let me see. We're going to get, we're going to get the nice camera angle first. Okay. This capital campaign. We got to use it. Okay. We are blessed. Amen. 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 Are we blessed at St. Yes. Mary's? Yes. We are. So just, just flip it over. Nope. 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 Like just flip it over. Right? What does that say? Me. Is there any blessing in just me? No, because the blessing... Okay, go ahead. Just flip it over like... Yeah, there you go. See, I learned. I take direction well. Because living together, we're turning the we, the me, the me, into a we. You're getting good at this. I'll get certified. Because it's when we are together that we are blessed. And I think that's the model of Mary. It is. It's a, Mary was one of the, she was the first disciple. She is the first disciple. She's the first one to believe. And then when we read in Luke, who we're reading now in Acts, he shows that she was on the front line in the early church. She was there. She's part of the Christian community. We guys, we can't do this alone. If you're going to choose joy in your life, in the face of chaos, in the face of loss, in the face of grief, in the face of depression, in the face of anxiety, in the face of despair, whatever it may be, you got to do it. And we got to do it in the community. That's why church is so important. That's why this community, your life group is so important. It's not a solo act. Jesus was constantly calling people into community, constantly people calling to groups. And Mary was like that mother head with them. I picture her as also working with them. She's the mother of God. So this is why Sundays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, all those days, you have your private prayer, but also in your community. 
So these life groups that you have will be following this book. So tell us about the book that's going to help so us to choose jewelry. So there is a book. Jewelry. There's a book somewhere around, and if you want to buy a copy, they're available. We have a hundred. Look at that. Look at that. Look there at you that go. The, the four day eight principle, and it talks. The f so that's Philippians four eight. Philippians four eight. So it's based off of whatever is true, whatever is noble. Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. Oh, there you go. Thanks, guys, on the screen. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. So we need to change our stinking thinking. Mm. I like that. I like it. And choose joy. And so that's what we're going to be doing. Today's our kickoff. We're going to give the, the, have the blessing of the backpacks just right now. And so life groups, if you're looking for um, a book, we have a suggestion, Bible studies, personal reading. The Sunday school is also going to be following that on Sunday fun days. And um, because we all want to choose joy because we are designed for joy. And it will also influence our Sunday fun day. So we'll be bringing people like Bob Zakiao and others who are on the front lines of working with folks who uh, might be having some, some, uh, uh, some needs mentally and how they have, through faith, allowed them to find joy and peace in their work. They'll be coming to speak with us during our Sunday fun days. So this the next three months, pick up a book. It's going to be, I think, at one of the tables where you can buy one. Uh, and uh, let's start to choose joy. So we have a big sacramental moment of choosing joy right now because today is the blessing of the backpack. So if you are in school already, going to school this week, I want you all to come forward with your backpacks. If you didn't bring your backpack, that's fine. Just come forward because we want to bless you. If you're an educator, if you're an administrator, if you're a crossing guard, I don't care. Anything involved with our school system, we adore you and love you and so grateful for you. We want to surround you with the Holy Spirit. Here we go. Here we go. And we, we need, need we need some uh, parents to help we, with the backpack tags. Yeah, we need some We're going to bless them first. Oh, I love how like a third of the community gonna, is coming up. We're going to bless so good. them first and then we'll distribute. So come on up. This is what we do as a community. We pray for each other. We love on each other. Here, let's put it back so we can bless College, first. high school, grad school. Yeah, great. Kindergarten. Cool. College. Woohoo! Educators, we love on you. We're grateful for you, administrators. All right. So Reverend Patsy is going to bless, the, she'll say a blessing over these tags, and then I'll share a blessing over y'all, and then if we get some parents after this to help, we'll hand out these tags. You guys, I put this on my little messenger bag, and it helps me so much to keep my mind right. So uh, let's, friends, let's pray over these tags. All right. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Put your hands out. Let's, let's uh, receive the, the Spirit of God. Lord... We know that it's not easy to live in this world, to go to school, to use our minds to the glory of God. So we need your help. Help us, Lord, to focus on whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, let us think about these things. And so, Lord, we ask your blessing upon these backpack tags, that they will be a reminder for us and whoever to read them that we are designed for joy. We pray this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Father God, we ask for a, your blessing of the Holy Spirit upon every single young mind that's here, every educator, every administrator. Lord Jesus, protect them, Lord God. Keep them safe at school. Keep their minds right. Keep their hearts full. And may they become and continue to grow into being the leaders that our world needs. And may the educators be inspired. And if any obstacles come their way, that they can have joy in the midst of the chaos. And trust that you, Lord, are working with them and giving them all the wisdom that they need. We ask this, Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. We love you all. Go get them. Emily. All right, peace Let's be with you. These. If we could get some parents, Emily. there we go. Vestry point person for education. And I'll get a bunch. Emily and I'll hand Gallo them out to someone else is going to.
So go, you can go there get one go. from her. And but, then if we can, yeah. so if you, Graham, will be the administrator so over here, you can hand those out. Bit. There Emily, you go. Can you just move that way? And so friends, follow Graham. And then you, if, 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 if Lena, you can go over to Ms. Gallo and also get some more tags and gonna hand them out. And so friends, Oh, and there's prayer squares too that our prayer team has had. So youth, you can have a square that's been soaked in prayer. These are soaked in prayer by our knitting team and they want you to have one and just know that you're being prayed over and loved every time you hold it. 